Hi everyone, I'm a bit croaky, croaky. <clears throat> so, um, later today, Australian time, I'm going to do a joint Skype reading with Dave Johnson and that will be on um, what's happening this summer in the US and I'm sure there's some big things afoot. That's later. So in the meantime, I thought I'd do a catch up, you know, how things sort of mount up over a couple of days. So um, one of the things I wanted to look at was Maxine Waters and another is an update on Mark Burnett and the tapes. Okay, so like everything, it tends to be a step forward where you get some good news like the judge that insists the kids um, are reunited with their parents and you get a step back towards fascism um, with the upholding of the travel ban. So it's like that and you're going to see that continue. But the young ones are stepping up and stepping forward. Um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez beat a much older candidate in the elections and I think the future is young people but it's also Americans generally voting who maybe haven't voted for years or at all. So trying to keep on top of it as best we can. So a little quickie, Maxine Waters. What's happening with Maxine? She of course, as most of you know, dear viewers, she called out for civil action against um, hideous Trump things and that coincided with the Red Hen incident with Sarah Huckabee Sanders and other things and now Maxine Waters is getting blamed for anyone having a reaction. So it's a bit tricky isn't it because people have to act and have to react and she encouraged that and now she's seen as this dreadful provocative person. Um, Mind you, I've never been, you know, entirely in her camp, but let's just have a quick look at Maxine. Oh, sorry, I need to bring you down here. Yeah. Oh, look, if I was Maxine's best friend, oh, you can see my jammies. Yes, the truth is out. Here you go, viewers. I'm only dressed from the waist up. Okay, um, now on top of this, her main card is she feels beleaguered, she feels under attack and she is, so we're on the right track. She is involved with group work, she is a team player, she's been there forever, um, but she's trying to rally her numbers behind the scene. And I think people are um, a bit less enthusiastic, if you like, to just jump on board with Maxine. But there are conversations. People do respect her for the huge amount of work she's put in over the years. So she'll have some in her corner and others who won't. This is a very emotional time, as we all know, viewers. There's an overflow of emotions. And it's very hard for people on either side to be remotely rational. There's just this enormous pressure. So she's feeling quite emotionally wrought. And the reason I think that card refers to her as opposed to her supporters or even her detractors, she also gets the Nine of Swords. So she's very upset behind the scene. She's a tough cookie. And I'm sure she's weathered huge storms before, but this is getting to her. All right. Sorry about that, Maxine. I can just call them like I see them. Now, recently I did the Tom Arnold reading about the tapes. And um, he's got this new show coming up on Vice or Viceland or whatever it is, trying to find Trump tapes. And that raised the question of the Apprentice tapes and 
they are owned, well, the senior producer was Mark, Mike Burnett, Mark Burnett, um, Mike Burnett, I think it is, and MGM, who are also the, the big brother entity behind The Apprentice and Celebrity Apprentice. So MGM presumably would have watertight legal hold over those tapes. But this is a time of leaking, so I'm just interested. I understand from reading up on that they're not going to be released as a whole batch because of legal reasons, but will there be leaks? Will there be leaks from the apprentice outtakes? Will there be leaks? Mm. Oh, the group work comes up again. Oh, guys, mm. probably not. Okay, so thinking about it, people are thinking about it. This is being offered something and not wanting to take it, but still having to think about it. This is the Four of Cups. So, in this very specific context, I think people who could get their little technical fingers, their little digital digits, onto them are weighing it up and, I'd say, attempted. But that's a huge legal risk. So that's how I interpret that first card in relation to this question. Group work, people are thinking about it. They are talking about it behind the scenes. Is it worth the risk? Do we hate this president enough? Is he a risk enough to be worth risking everything, including future work in the industry? Conversations are being had around money because Tom Arnold is one person working with this program who's obviously prepared the program, I mean, to spend a bit of money to grease the wheels. But is it enough money? The star or the celebrity, <laughs> if you like, under there, central to this little mini reading, there's hope that someone may spill the beans. There's a small hope that someone on their own might say, okay, I don't care if there's a legal case, that's a chance for me to expose this guy in court. In other words, do a Stormy Daniels. Oh, I'm sure Michael Avenatti would represent them. So if someone decided as a one-off, they've got phone footage or whatever, that might happen. But collectively, we, I think this means us viewers, so will be disappointed that they won't be leaked. On mass. Burnett's not going to stick his neck out. He's only young with a youngish family. Not young, but early middle age. He's not going to risk his future in the industry, even if it is to do a great public good. So that would have to be the answer to both those small questions. All right. So I'm also going to do a reading after the one with Dave on the stock market and the tariffs too, because I think this, ironically, it's money who could actually influence the Republicans long term. So I'll talk about that. So I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.